Um, all right, well, I, I, uh, my name is Angel. I'm 18, and my three-month-old son and I live with my mom just outside of Dallas, Texas. Just after I gave birth, I was lonely and went on plenty of fish to see if I could find someone to talk to. I got a message from this guy named Remy. He's my age, lives nearby, and he thought I was cute. He was the first guy I talked to since I had my son, and it was a relief that someone was interested in me. So we made plans to go to the movies, along with my best friend Mari, but when I went to the theater, he wasn't there. I messaged him, and he told me he was at home. He sent his address, so Mari and I went over, but we couldn't find him. I told Remy I was there, and he then started saying he could see us, and he was in a car right by us. I looked for him, but no one was there. I'm a new mom, and I really don't have time for all this drama. If Remy and I are gonna have any chance at making this work, I need to figure this out ASAP. Do you talk to him on the phone, or just text? We talk on the phone and we text. Okay, and how often do you guys talk? We talk every day, basically. Like, we'll be on the phone from the time I get home from school to the time he has to go to work. Like, I'll fall asleep on the phone with him, basically. Have you FaceTimed him? I have FaceTimed him, but when we FaceTime, I only saw his forehead and up. <laughs> Let's talk about the time that you went to where he, s he gave you the address. What, what happened? I'm like, okay, well, I'm here. And he was like, well, do you see me? And I'm like, no, I see a lot of people walking around, but I don't, I don't think that's you. He was like, well, are you wearing a highlight yellow jacket in a Nissan with the black bumper? And I'm looking around, I'm like, yeah, but where are you? He's like, I'm in the car behind y'all. So I'm like, which one? And he never replied. I was gonna go over there a second time, but my friend was like, no, he's wasting your time. Don't go over there. So That's Mari. Mari. Right? Sound, she sounds like a good friend. She sounds like a keeper. She sounds smart. Yeah, she is. She's like the little investigator. And what explanation does he have for not meeting you? He says that he has a girlfriend that he's not with, but they stay together because she pays for the rent. Let's see the guy. Here's his Facebook right there. Wait, why is his name D. Jackson? Yeah, what? I sent a friend request, but it hasn't been oh. so dude. Come on, talk. Angel, come on, me. come on. It looks like Remy sent you the real guy's Facebook page. I've never seen a catfish do this. We FaceTimed you. Mm -hmm. We were all on a group call. And all I saw was this part of his head. Okay, so what did it look like? It didn't match the Facebook person at right. all. Mm. He tried to turn us against each other. Oh, what? He told her that me and him were talking and was Whoa. like, oh. he was like, mm. we done slept together, this, this, and that. Oh, and what? She, Why wouldn't you tell us that? She was so conflicted, she started crying. I was like, Angel, it's not true. I'm telling you, it's not true. And I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do something that hurtful to you. What's your relationship like with him? I'm just the friend of her. I don't really care for him. So we searched his phone number. Didn't come back with any registered name, but it is obviously a Texas area code. And it says that it's a landline. Now, usually when we see that, it's because the number is like a text app number. Mm. But you FaceTimed on that number. He FaceTimed me from the email. So it was like an right. Apple ID or something? Mm -hmm. Do you remember what that was? He faced Oh. Oh. No right. way. This was at 4 in the morning? Whoa. What were you doing talking to him so late? Because he called. Was he flirting with you? Probably, but I don't care. Mm -hmm. But that's messed up. I'm not worried about him. No, but flirting. I'm worried if he's flirting with you and he's supposed to be talking to her. Also, like... just calling at 4 a.m. Right. I was trying to say get him to send pictures of the apartment where he said he was and he wouldn't most important thing we did was contact him on that snapchat from his facebook page and we talked to d the guy in the pictures and i asked him if he's talked to or knows a girl named angel and he said no which basically confirmed that the guy you've been talking to is not, not him. him so i can call him and we can make an effort to meet up with him if you're down with that. This is uh, Neve. Is this Remy? Yeah. Hey, Remy, I was just trying to see if maybe you'd be down to meet up. No, nah, I want to meet up. We know that you're not the guy in the pictures. I think you, you know, you should tell her the truth. I can't do the show right now. Um, all right, well, I, I no. I said, so I'll give you to the end of the day. If you want to stop being a little bitch about it, man up and come forward. I changed my mind. I'll meet today. Remy? Yeah. I'm Neve. I'm Elle. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? I'm 
and uh, this is Angel. Is your real name Remy? No, it's not my real name. What is your name? I don't want to see it. How much of the story that you told her was true? I mean, really everything except for the who I am. So your girlfriend is a real person? Yeah, I got a girlfriend for real. And then why are you messing with people on Plenty of Fish? I, I don't get it. It wasn't for a relationship. It was more like a, it was a joke to me. And I made a count to see how long it would take somebody to figure out that it was fake. That's a weird hobby. It was just something doing my downtown. So I imagine you talked to lots of people. No, nah, it was just her. She was the first one to reply. I mean, you guys talked all the time. There had to be something real in that. No, nah, it wasn't. You can tell me whatever you want, but like, you can't pretend for the three months that you guys were talking, it never meant something to you. It really didn't. I basically talked to you like I talked to my best friend. And I'm telling you things that nobody else knows. And then for someone to just sit here and tell me that there's a game to you and it's not funny. I feel bad a little bit, but not, not enough for me to sit here and like apologize and tell her I'm wrong for everything I did. So you, you wouldn't apologize for that? No, I don't. Really? Don't you think it's pretty f***ed up to be like, I want to help you take care of your baby? I want to be there? I never took it as like we're in like a, a committed relationship. She just wasn't catching on quick enough. Right, but if the game was to mess with people, you would have just moved on. Nah, it was still, it was interesting to see her come around the house and like not find me. Like I'd be sitting inside a car somewhere else. What about when you told her that you slept with Mari? I didn't. When I told her, like, Mari texted me and she wanted to plan to come over like and hook up. And I tried to warn Angel. Mari came on to me. She ended up sending me messages and videos, pictures saying how she wanted me. But why should we believe you? I mean, I have the messages of her trying to come over alone. I had to scream, grab me. Uh, wow. OK. These texts are pretty flirty. And they definitely seem to be pictures of Mari. Did Mari know that you were not the guy in the pictures? Yeah, we FaceTimed before. And you showed your face? Yeah, she saw me. And she saw you? I set the phone up on my TV, and I stood up for a good five minutes. With your face in the yeah. camera? Wow. I thought it was something fishy of them talking at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we, t we talked almost every night, saying how she was going to do sexual acts to me. He said you and he FaceTimed, and you saw his face. No, I didn't see his face. But most importantly, he told us that you and he had a whole side thing going, that you were flirting with him and sending pictures. I wouldn't do something like that to her. He showed us the pictures. I don't know how he got those pictures. Because I didn't never send them to him. I mean, I mean, that guy's not a hacker. I have had people that I've dated send out my pictures, but I don't know who has them or what. A little far-fetched. Yeah, it is, but it's possible. You sent it? No. Doesn't make sense to me. It's going to be hard to work through things and keep friendships built on a lie. I mean, it wasn't like I was coming on to him. He would always text me first and talk to me first. That's not true. I saw the text messages. I'm sorry for not being real with you. I just don't know why you didn't tell me till now. It's just like, I can't dismiss it. You know, that's, that's always been a deal breaker for me. I don't, I don't know how to feel. I just need like to do a lot of thinking right now. Assuming you and Remy aren't communicating anymore. No. OK, what's going on with Mari? Ooh. After everything went down, I found out that things like this has been going on basically since we known each other. Whoa. And I just, I wasn't going to stand for that. That was a pretty big Band-Aid to rip those two people out of your life. In the long run, I mean, maybe you're just better off without a friend like that, but that sucks.